everyone, my name is Vishal Lingam and welcome to Coaching. Today we are going to talk about the latest technology trends of 2020 and why you should learn it. Now we know that technologies have been evolving in such a rapid phase that keeping a track of a technology becomes very hard for us. But as an IT professional, it is a responsibility to upgrade ourselves because of the current job needs and the current market trends. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about the top eight technology trends of the year 2020 and why you should learn it or upgrade yourself. So before wasting any time, let's get started. All right. So the very first technology we are going to talk about is artificial intelligence. Now, artificial intelligence or AI has already received a lot of buzzwords in the recent years, and it continues to be a trend to watch because it affects on our life the way we live it. I mean, we are a part of AI on our daily basis. And in addition to AI, machine learning is also another branch of AI that we must know. Now, AI refers to a computer system or an ability where a computer can make the informed decisions or intelligent decision based on the data provided. AI can do tasks faster than and more accurately than a human being. I mean, five out of six American companies UI AI services in one or other form, including the navigation app, streaming services, personal assistant, ride sharing app. I mean, you name it. AI is a part of our life on a daily basis. And it is very important for us to understand and learn because AI is going to create a lot of jobs in the coming years. Now, in addition to a consumer use, AI is also used in different applications like scheduling trains, like assessing business risk, for example, the credit card. So having said that, AI is a part of what we refer broadly as automation. And automation is a hot topic because of the potential job loss and also the potential job increase in the market. Experts say that automation will eliminate close to 73 million more jobs by 2030. However, automation is increasing the jobs as well not just eliminating them i mean there are a lot of ai pundits which predicts that the job in ai will number 23 million by 2020 so you can imagine the amount of scope which is currently available in the market artificial intelligence job for such example the ai architect is one of such job which exists in the market and some say that it will soon rival the data scientists in need for the skilled professionals so to learn more about the potential jobs in AI, please visit the coaching blog. The next technology in the table is machine learning. Machine learning is, as I said, is a subset of artificial intelligence. With machine learning, computers are programmed to learn to do something they are not programmed to do. They learn by discovering patterns and insights from the data. In general, we have two types of learning, supervised learning and unsupervised learning. While machine learning is a subset of AI, we also have subset of the machine learning, uh, which includes neural networks, natural language processing, and deep learning. Each of these subsets offer an opportunity for specializing in a career field that will only grow. Machine learning is rapidly being deployed in all kinds of industries, which is creating a huge demand for skilled professional. The machine learning market is expected to grow close to $10 billion by 2022. Machine learning applications are used for data analytics, for data mining, for pattern recognition. And if you look on the consumer end, machine learning is powering the web search results, real-time ads, um, network intrusion detection for the security side. And these are the very few applications of the many tasks it can do. In addition to completing countless tasks on a behalf, it is also generating a lot of jobs. Machine learning jobs rank among the top emerging jobs on LinkedIn with almost 3,000 job listings posted and these jobs do pay well. I mean, and in 2018, the average salary of a machine learning engineer was about $100,000. And machine learning jobs include engineers, developers, researchers, and data scientists. So it's time for you to skill up your machine learning. And to know more of that, please visit coaching.co. The third technology in the table is robotic process automation, or we also call it as RPA. Like AI in machine learning, Robotic Process Automation, or RPA, is another technology that is automating the jobs. RPA is the use of software to automate the business processes like interpreting applications, processing transactions, dealing with data, and even replying to emails. RPA automates repetitive jobs that people used to do. These are not just some menial tasks 
of a low paid worker, but up to 45% of the activities can be automated, including the works of CEOs, doctors, financial managers. According to Forest Research, RPA is going to threaten more than 9% of the global workforce, but RPA is also creating a lot of jobs while altering the existing job. According to reports by McKinsey, less than 5% of the occupation can be totally automated, but about 60% can be partially automated. So you can imagine the kind of automation RPA is going to bring on the table. And for you as an RD professional looking to the future and trying to understand technology trends, RPA offers plenty of career opportunities, including developers, project managers, business analysts, solution architects, and these jobs again do pay well. I mean, as an average, RPA salary is about $70,000 annually, and but that's just the average salary, depending upon what kind of profile you become from a junior level developer to a senior solution architect. I mean, with the top 10 earnings over about $150,000 annually. So if you're keen on learning and pursuing careers in RPA, please visit coaching.co. The next technology we're going to talk about is edge computing. Now, we know that cloud computing has become a mainstream uh, with the major players like Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud Platform, and Microsoft Azure. And the adoption of cloud computing is still growing as more and more business are migrating to a cloud solution. But it's no longer an emerging technology because the quantity of data that we're dealing with continues to increase and we've realized the shortcomings of cloud computing in some or other situation. And that's where edge computing comes into play. Edge computing is transforming the way data is being handled, is being processed, and delivered from millions of devices around the world. The explosive growth of internet-connected device, which is also called as IoT, along with the new application that require real-time computing power, continues to drive the edge computing system. Fast networking technologies such as 5G wireless are allowing for edge computing to accelerate the creation and support of real-time application, for example, video processing analytics, self-driving car, artificial intelligence, and robotics, to name a few. Now, while early goals of edge computing were to address the cost of bandwidth for data traveling long distance because of the growth of IoT-generated data, the rise of real-time application that needs processing at the edge will drive the technology need. What is edge computing? Now, according to Gartner, edge computing is a part of distributed computing topology in which information processing is located close to the edge where things are being produced or people who are consuming that information. At a basic level, edge computing brings computation and data storage closer to the devices where it's being actually gathered rather than relying on a central location that can be thousands of miles away. This is also to avoid a lot of latency when we talk about real-time communication. This is done so that data, especially real-time data, does not suffer any latency issues and that can affect our application performance. In addition, companies can save money by having the processes done locally by reducing the data that needs to be processed in a centralized or a cloud-based location. So to know more about touch computing, please visit coaching.co. technology we're going to talk about is distributed cloud. Now, distributed cloud is how the cloud is shifting. Most have thought of cloud as being location independent. It's just out there. It's up there somewhere. But now with distributed cloud, physical location of the clouds or the data centers where are they located becomes increasingly important. Addressing the regulation issues and latency issues and those kind of things is becoming much more important. The cloud expands its territory and becomes a distributed cloud, which is the distribution of public cloud services to different locations, while the originating public cloud provider assumes responsibility for the operation, governance, updates, to an evolution of the services. This represents a significant shift from the centralized model of the public cloud services and will lead to a new era in the cloud computing. And the best example, if you know about AWS, you can think about the Amazon Web Services availability zones, which are basically the physical data centers, which are spread across globe. And hence, that could be a way part for the distributed cloud computing. The next technology in the trend is virtual reality and augmented reality. Now, virtual reality is where a user is immersed in an environment, while augmented reality is enhancing the environment. 
Although virtual reality has been primarily used for gaming, but it's also been used for training like virtual ship, a simulation software, which is used to train the US Navy, Army, and Coast Guard for that matter. And also if you remember the popular game, the Pokemon Go, is an example of the augmented reality. Now virtual reality is when the users are completely immersed in a computer generated reality, then they experience a virtual reality. Virtual reality is the most well-known immersive technology. The world of gaming and entertainment were the early adopters of the virtual reality. And now it is used in many organizations and industries, including military, engineering, healthcare, education, and more. Now, when a user puts a head-mounted display or a VR headset we call, they sense and their brains believe they're moving uh, among virtual objects on a screen. Most commonly, the headset is connected to either a computer or a console that enables the virtual experience. I mean, in this case, if you know the Google Cardboard, the Samsung Gear VR, the Google Stream, it's a smartphone that creates the virtual experience while the Oculus Go can do it all because it's a standalone VR headset. On the other hand, we have augmented reality. Do you remember the Pokemon Go craze? That's the most well-known augmented reality application technology, which overlays the digital information of the real world. Now, rather than providing a fully immersive virtual experience, augmented reality enhances the real world images, text, and other information via devices like heads of displays, smartphones, tablets, smart lenses, and AR glasses. Now, getting started in VR doesn't require a lot of specialized knowledge. Basic programming skills and a forward-thinking mindset can do a job, although other employers will be looking for optics as a skill set and hardware engineers as well. So to more about AR and VR, please visit coaching.co. The next technology in the trend is hyper-automation. Hyper-automation elevates task of automation to the next level. It is application of advanced technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning to automate processes in ways which are significantly more impactful than that of traditional automation capabilities. It's the combination of multiple machine learning package software and automation tools to deliver work. Hyper automation requires a combination of tool to help support replicating piece of where the human is involved in a task. Now this trend kind of kicked off with the RPA, which is also called as robotic process automation, but we'll see growth with the combination of process intelligence, content intelligence, AI, OCR, and other innovative technologies. So keep a lookout on hyper automation and to more more, please visit coaching.co. The last technology in the trend we're going to talk about is blockchain. Now blockchain has been with us since the year 2010, since the invention of Bitcoin. And most of the people thought for a very long time that blockchain is equivalent to Bitcoin until the enterprise application of blockchain came into existence. I mean, starting from saving the records on the blockchain or keeping doing transaction, making them transparent. Um, several industries are evolving in implementing blockchain. And as the use of blockchain increases, so too does the demand for skilled professionals. In that regard, we're already behind. According to TechCrunch.com, blockchain related jobs are the second fastest category of jobs with 14 jobs opening for every blockchain developer. A blockchain developer specializes in developing and implementing architecture and solution using blockchain technology. The average yearly salary of a blockchain developer could be around 130,000. And if you're intrigued by blockchain as its application, you wanna make career in the fastest growing technology of the industry, feel free to reach out to coaching.co team or visit us on coaching.co. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel to get the latest update from coaching. Also visit coaching.co in order to explore various courses available from coaching and get the best instructor of your choice. So hurry up, don't wait up.